this is with the Moses channel as always welcome back welcome back so we are doing another uh, marijuana video yes marijuana so today I thought I'd continue a little bit more of like some of the education some of the basic education and everything uh, I'm gonna kind of go through a little bit of a recap from the last video but today's video topic of discussion slash education is sativa versus indigo versus hybrid. Yes, I know. You're probably all, not maybe all of you, but I think some of you might be a little bit like, what the, what the hell is this now? What is this? What is this? Um, I will get into that in just a moment, but uh, let's recap just real quick uh, from the previous video on a couple of things, uh, mainly THC, CBD, a little bit of those effects and everything and side effects and treatment and whatnot. Then we'll get into all the other shenanigans. But anyway, so real quick. So THC is the psychoactive ingredient that causes the euphoric or high feeling. A higher, ugh, a higher, a higher level. Ugh, I can't talk. I swear to goodness, I have not smoked today. Higher levels for some may, for some may make some users feel anxious, paranoid, or have a panic attack. This will kind of come into play in a little bit. You will understand why. CBD is the component that does not get you high, but is definitely more of a body high. That will help a lot more with some aches and pains and everything. THC will help you with some of those pains, those, uh, those aches and pains, but CBD is the one that is really going to be the more powerful component for those ailments, I'm just saying. Uh, some of the medical reasons for THC is MS pain, nerve pain, Parkinson's disease, nausea, and glaucoma. Some of the THC effects, uh, some of these I'm a little, but I kind of understand, I'll get into it in just a moment. But THC side effects are problems with concentration, which sort of is kind of a given if you've seen any sort of, even like any one of those sort of like propaganda type of drug sort of movies or a regular sort of movie involving pot, you'll kind of understand concentration might be a little bit of an issue sometimes. It also may um, cause some dizziness, vomiting, drowsiness, and balance slash concentration. Or not concentration. Um, <laughs> I already said concentration, uh, but balance. So, a couple of things on here that I was a little like, hmm, when I first read that was like something like the vomiting. Uh, in all my 15, 16 years of smoking, I've never, uh, whether while smoking or the day after, uh, I've never vomited. You know, and that's the other thing too, where it's like. You know, it does, uh, one of the benefits of using is that it helps with, like, some nausea and everything that will kind of lead to vomiting and everything. But at the same time, I kind of understand, it, especially if, like, you're dizzy or you might get a little a bit of a sense of motion sickness, I can kind of see vomiting afterwards. But that, like I said, I, in all, all the years that I've been using never really has uh, made me throw up. So, um, and then for CBD, for CBD, some of the medical CBD uh, aspects for it is arthritis, uh, Crohn's disease, diabetes, and MS. And some have actually reported that it hel has helped with anxiety, insomnia, and chronic pain. And of course, just like THC, you could have some side effects and everything. Um, side effects, some of them are a little bit similar, such as the nausea, uh, diarrhea, upset stomach, tiredness, obviously, which sometimes is not really a bad thing. Sometimes people kind of use it for the component to get tired or to help them fall asleep. Lightheadedness, which I confirm much different than like dizzy. I'm just saying, I'll explain in a moment. Crankiness, which once again... I smoke a little CBD, I'm less cranky. I'm just saying. Low, <laughs> low blood, low blood pressure. 
And finally, drowsiness. Once, once again, that is not really a, a bad thing because I know sometimes we hear side effects and we think, ooh, bad, bad, bad. But like I said, drowsiness and tiredness, those are kind of things that, you know, some people like myself, uh, others who have trouble sleeping or have insomnia, you are looking to get tired or have some of the drowsiness and everything. So it's not always like a bad thing with the side effects. Um, And as you can tell too, with some of these side effects, they're not as severe as some of these uh, man-made compounded chemicals that we take, such as antidepressants, uh, any sort of like opiates or anything like that, you know, our painkillers such as uh, Vicodin and uh, Oxycontin and everything, where it leads to much more of a harsher addiction. You could have hallucinations. You could instantly die. You could have heart attacks. You can get this, this, and this. So it's there's the side effects, but they're not as intense and severe as some of these other man-made created. I mean, although to be fair, because I'm no, I'm, I keep saying man-made created, man created. Uh, Drugs, especially with with a lot of weed now and different strains and everything, a lot of that is kind of being man made, but it is still the natural components, not all this other crazy stuff that I don't know. Just saying, I'm just saying. So, um, uh, so those are some of the you know recaps I wanted to go through with the CBD and THC and everything, because like I said, we are going to be talking about sativa versus indica versus hybrid uh and real quick before i get into this because i i know i was going to kind of mention this in my last video to kind of get you guys a little bit uh you know i don't want to say ahead of the game but help you guys out and stuff too because like i said i don't know what my schedule is going to be like this for these videos but i want to give you guys some good starting off points if you guys are really kind of um interested in learning about some of this stuff uh there's some weed documentaries or pot documentaries that i want to kind of bring up one of the first ones that i had seen uh and this was one that i really that really made me realize like oh wow like there really could be some great medical benefits from marijuana and that is in pot we trust i think that came out around 2004 2005 2006 somewhere around there i know it was when i was kind of just starting to use marijuana so uh second one is the legend of 420 and third one is rolling papers those later two the latter are both on amazon prime definitely at least check out uh in pot we or uh, in pot we trust check that one out because that's really good it's been a while since i've seen it but really check out uh legend of 420 because that is crazy i'm just saying very informative so yeah so anyway, so let's get into what our video is today, and we are starting off with sativa. Sativa strains of marijuana are going to come from warmer parts of the world, South uh, Southeast East Asia, Central and South America. This is going to give you a more uplifting high, mood enhancing, and good for social gatherings. Um... Uh, the, whoa, 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 whoa. And you're going to be a little bit more energetic and creative, and it's going to be a little bit more of a creative high, but may cause a little bit of anxiety, which once again, I usually tell new smokers or uh, people who are kind of coming back to marijuana after several, several years, um, don't quite go overboard with a sativa, go with something that is an indigo or an indica dominant hybrid because that's going to give you a little bit more of like a body calm and everything body relaxation and take some of that edge off that some of the THC can kind of really amp you up so I'm just saying I'm just saying um it is also helpful for uh the falling for depression headaches nausea and appetite loss so once again kind of going back to some of those uh side effects and everything where it's like sometimes yeah, some of these strains, and it really does kind of depend on some of the strains as well. Um, but yeah, some of these strains, you will, like, even I notice too, sometimes I can have, like, a pretty, you know, big dinner and everything that'll pretty much last me, like, keep me full for the rest of the night till I go to bed. 
where I'm not feeling hungry, I can, you know, have a bowl or something or a joint depending on whatever I'm smoking. And then I'm like, oh, like 10 minutes later or 20 minutes later, I'm getting like the like feed me sort of noise in my stomach. So got to watch out with some of those. I'm just saying um, in case you have like a big dinner and you don't want to like eat more. Watch it with uh, what you what you smoke. Just saying. Then there is indica, as I just kind of sort of mentioned a little bit. Um, uh, indica strains uh, usually originate in the Middle East, such as Afghanistan, Pakistan, and Tibet. This is, like I just mentioned, uh, it's going to give you a little bit of a calmer, sedative, uh, sedative sort of high, and is really good for stress, pain relief, and uh, relaxation. So, sorry, uh, so many notes, so many notes. So, but that's what I was kind of saying too, like I said a, a moment ago, where especially if you're a, a beginner sort of, um, uh, smoker or you're returning to it, uh, after several years, uh, cause indica very much like CBD, like CBD, like I, I've said, is going to give you a little bit more of like a calm. It's not going to give you necessarily the head high. So sometimes with, um, these uh, different sort of uh, strains that have a combination of THC and CBD, uh, you have to really kind of like, you know, watch what you are taking. Um, like, for example, and this is actually a strain that I'm going to probably be doing a little like review on. But for example, the stuff Harley Sue here, uh, oh, this is a CBD dominant um, strain here and everything. And this here, I know it says that normally when I was looking up some information that it normally will be like 1% of THC. You can see that there's about 10% THC in there, a little bit over of, uh, of THC. So it will give you a nice high, especially too, if you're starting off, you're going to want to stick with something lower in THC. Like I would say stick with something uh, with 10% or less of THC to start out. Now, you don't have to get a whole thing, a gram like this, uh, or I'm sorry, an eighth like this. This is an eighth. Start out with, like, a gram, dude. Like, little gram like this or something, dude. Just to start out, because you don't want to get stuck with something and you're like, I really did not like that. It really didn't do much. It's a little too much to start out with. Um, I already smoked a little bit of this. Uh, but like this right here, you guys, uh, like I said, I already ground up like two little nuggets of this, but that'll be about a gram. So that is definitely a good chunk, uh, for a beginner. I would say this would probably last you a couple weeks at least, at least uh, I said beginner. Okay. Someone like me, if I'm smoking this every day, I, it's going to last me two days. I'll be honest. Um, I'm just saying, I'm just saying. But yeah, stick with something that's a little bit more indica dominant um, or an indica or an indica dominant hybrid to kind of start out with if you can't find something with a good chunk of CBD in it. Uh, and once again, the CBD content in this is like 16%. Uh, yes, just over 16%, about 17% of uh, CBD. So that gives you a really, like I said, kind of calm, brings you down a little bit. So if you feel a little like a little anxious, that will calm you down. That, that higher CBD will calm you down a little bit. Uh, Cause I feel like that's a very, very big mistake that a lot of people, a lot of new smokers will make the kind of mistake, like I said, where they go with something where it's like, you know, 15, 17, 20, 25%, 30% THC, which is a lot. Like even for me, 30%, like I just had a few weeks ago or a month ago, a couple months ago, a strain called La Orange, which is great. But the thing with that, it's like 20 27% THC. And even for me, that still kicked my ass. I was on my futon. I was not moving. I'm just saying. So you, that's why you got to be careful with some of the THC contents. Newer smokers, don't. there's no shame with having a little CBD in your pot and having a lower... Uh, lower THC count. I'm just saying. So, wow, I just really kind of talked a lot about that. So let's talk about hybrids. I know I just talked a, a bit about hybrids, but hybrids are a combination of sativa and indica. 
Uh, there are a few that are like 50-50, like straight down the middle. Normally you're going to see either a an indica dominant or a sativa dominant hybrid. Um, like I know I have this one called uh, Early Lemon Berry. That is one of the few that is a 50-50 strain. Uh, like I said, usually you'll see like, you know, 60-40, 70-30 uh, on one or the other. So uh, once again, that's why, you know, if you're getting into it, if you see a hybrid C, if it's a little bit more of a sativa or an indica, if it's a little bit more of an indica, you should be okay because, you know, you do have some of that indica in there to maybe mellow you out. But I would say start off with a little bit of a more, a little bit more of an indica dominant sativa until you kind of get used to how comfortable you are in smoking and everything and the environments you are smoking in. So that's the other thing too. If you're a little bit more of a social smoker, be careful. Like smoke with people that you really trust and like you know aren't going to like give you crap or make you more paranoid or anything while you're high. You want to have a nice pleasurable experience. Or if you're like me, where it's just usually kind of, like, I've been open where I'm like, I usually smoke kind of at night, maybe uh, last hour of Monday Night Raw or something, or last hour of like a pay-per-view where I'll pop in a movie, you know, start taking a couple of hits or something, or smoking a, a joint, who knows? Just make it relaxing for yourself. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. So, yeah. Um, now, a couple more uh, tips, too, on... Uh, how do you, uh, and how to choose a strain or to choose hybrid versus indica, CBD dominant or THC dominant. Um, first off, ask yourself the reason why you are going to be smoking. Are you going to be someone like me where probably more than likely you're going to be using it to sort of manage some anxiety, some depression? I'll be honest, sometimes I like to have a night where I'm like, you know what, I'm in a good mood. Things are going well, but I want to have a little fun. I don't necessarily want to crack open a couple beers. Sometimes, sometimes drinking gets me a little, little shaky, a little panicky. I don't want that. I just want to have a little bit of a good time. I'll grab one of my pieces. I'll shell up a bowl or something, and I'll have a nice good time. Watch a movie or something. Catch up on a couple of shows. I don't know. Watch some wrestling. Watch some old school wrestling. That's another video I want to do. I think I mentioned in my last one where I want to do a couple of videos where uh, thir certain things I like to uh, smoke up to. I'm just saying. I'm just saying, you know. But anyway, more tips. I'm getting sidetracked again. More tips. Um, what kind of experience are you seeking? Once again, are you just looking to have maybe a good time? Just, you know, have a good night. Maybe you're going to see some friends, you know. You want to have a little bit of fun, enhance experience, or once again, are you using it to manage some pain? Is it a, a day where, you know, your arthritis is really acting up? You know, got to ask yourself what kind of strain, what kind of, if you're just looking for a little bit of CBD or whatnot. So, um, and also too, you got to also uh, look at, depending on too, uh, if a person is a new consumer or someone like me who is a uh, high user, I guess, or a reoccurring user, I guess, you know, because once again, like my tolerance compared to someone who doesn't smoke, you know, you gotta watch out once again, what, what you're going to be smoking and stuff. So, you know, and also too, another thing that you want to kind of like, uh, sort of figure out is how long of say like a high are you going to want? Are you going to want one that's only going to last a couple of hours? Or are you going to want something where you want a little bit longer and I don't know, maybe an edible might be better. And that's another thing too, you guys, until I kind of cover it or you guys do a little research, stay away from the edibles that like will get you jacked up. I'm just saying, I'm just saying, do your research. So yeah, there's so many different components of, you know, uses, why you're using this and that and everything. So you guys just kind of Careful with what you're smoking. If you have a bad experience at first, don't completely, uh, you know, give up. Like I said, it might just be something, especially like most common reason why a lot of people that I hear uh, don't want to do marijuana again is because they get so paranoid. They get panic attacky and it's just, or they're just too, 
ugh, like they feel like they can't move. Uh, you know, because that's some of I like. I know some people really like that. Not everyone, especially if you're not used to smoking marijuana and you're not quite sure what it's like, what you're gonna be on. You know, just careful with what you with what you choose, and don't pressure anyone into getting something that's like ridiculous high, where you're gonna get just so blatantly dumb and high. I'm just saying, start yourself off slow. I'm just saying, and also to you guys, I do want to kind of go over this real quick. Speaking of that, of smoking and everything, because uh, like marijuana will kind of start hitting you pretty, pretty quick. But it can take a few minutes, like some some of these strains can take three to seven minutes, uh, usually five to seven minutes is the norm. And then to really start feeling it set in, it might take another 10, 15 minutes or so. So when you do start off, something that I suggest is take one hit, you know, inhale it, hold it for a couple of seconds. You don't have to do it for like too long. It's a myth of like you have to hold it longer than cigarette smoke. That's not totally true. For a couple seconds, let it go and wait a couple of minutes. You know, like I said, wait five or so minutes to see how you are feeling within that first hit. Because some people, you know, like my guy, he like one or two hits and he's like, he is good. Me, on the other hand, I need like five or six hits at least to kind of start feeling kind of good. So you got to be careful, you know, and you got to, you got to be mindful of that if you're smoking with someone else who may or may not be on the same tolerance level as you with, with using. So I'm just saying, but yeah, you guys, there's just, uh, some more basic 101 marijuana 101 for you guys until next time. As always, you guys stay creepy, classy, and a little bit sassy.